Hey guys, Sandy here, and I wanted to share the layouts I made while I was scrapbooking with my friends last weekend. So let's get to it. Now this layout is a layout and a series of layouts for my girl's trip to this farm uh, that isn't too far from us. Fun fact, I pulled out some really old Creative Memories pumpkin stickers, used some of these Autumn Lane, Auburn Lane, Auburn Lane, uh, squashes, rub-ons, puffy sticker, and stickers, so that's a lot of fun. This one has lots of literal white space. I love the colors in this layout. These are my daughters when they were really young and a long time ago. Long time. This is my daughter more recently on her birthday. This layout has tons and tons of paper tearing, lots of tags, some fun cut files, and punched out bits. This one is a Disney trash can layout. Not a whole lot of journaling. This is a Monsters Inc. trash can. I did decide to doodle around the edge and then put in a couple little Mickey heads though. This is a layout that I think was done in like, I don't know, maybe 12 minutes or so. Um, I was concerned I didn't have enough time to pop out another one, but um, Carrie was like, do it. So this is what I came up with. Lots of stickers, just a little teeny bit of dimension throughout the page. There's some puffy stars as well up here. And this one didn't have to have a lot of journaling because that's one in a series as well. So this has some sensitive information on it, so I'm covering it up. This little guy right here isn't part of the layout, but I'm just covering that up. Um, used a bunch of different bits that I've had in my sash for a while. Um, look at those puffy gold airplanes. And then Sharon had given me the background paper. This layout is from Thanksgiving. And these I had actually, you'll see another layout with other circles. These are my leftover circles that I had done with that. Um, I don't even know what the papers are or anything like that. But these are me and my sister-in-law with my husband and my son photobombing us. Did a little bit of ink through a stencil as well. This is a Disney <laughs> trash can layout as well. This is kind of wild. I had done this page very late at night. This is some, um, I forget which medium I pushed through my stencil, but I do have this. These are just letter stickers that I colored with Copic markers. They were just white glitter. So we have this wild, wild layout. Then this layout some people called it the popcorn layout. It reminded them of popcorn. But someone had put this whole thing of yellow flowers on the give-take table. And I was like, I really want to use these yellow flowers. And then I thought to myself, maybe I can use all of the yellow flowers. So I just did them cascading down. And then did a picture of my son and my sister-in-law. Just really simple. There's so much going on here. I have lots of Thanksgiving photos, so we just did that. Now, on the back, as you guys know, I i mean, look at the amount of brads that's sticking through here. So, as you guys know, I always cover up my brads. There was just way too many brads throughout this whole page, so I just taped it to another background sheet. This is a October afternoon paper. The only thing I did here was clear heat embossed the road here and then put my cut my photo into a square popped it on a square doily and did a little bit of decoration there and it's just milestone numbers I love milestone numbers so every time my odometer hits even I snap a picture um, if I'm if I'm in the car I also snap a picture if I ever catch my YouTube channel that hits an even number. So it's just something weird that I've always done. This is a background paper that I didn't do anything with because I didn't have, I didn't think I had the right photos. So I had created this watercolor background 
before I went and I'd done this with Crayola um, watercolors and then I just matted it on some gold and then matted that on some black and truth be told I got it the gold because loved that gold paper okay this is my husband and my son it's called my weirdos and I ended up calling it my weirdos because it said whatever makes you weird is probably your greatest asset so I just did that across the page I popped this center photo up on some vellum there is a date sticker here that I have to look and see the exact date because I don't remember now this is a rub-on, this dark and stormy night, and this is a very, 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 very old rub-on. And it took a little bit to actually get it to go down on the page kind of well. This is my son, he was doing a zombie run and he snapped the picture for me. And I just added some really small rhinestones to the center of these little bursts and then add it a little bit of rhinestones as well. I kind of wanted it not to be boom in your face, but I wanted enough sparkle because, you know, I did the purple glitter and then the little rhinestones. I like sparkle. Sparkle makes me happy. So this is two cups of love. I had two different samples of Starbucks Frappuccinos and yum. And then this background paper is from Ellie's Studio. And I used my Ink Road stamp set and just stamped over top of the circles that were already pre-printed in colors that kind of went. This is a coffee cup from one of Chamel's, I think it's her first line. I think it's just the Chamel line. But I've been saving this coffee cup and I thought this was a perfect photo for that. And this one is another one of the farm pictures. And it says farm life. And I just really like this layout. I like the greens and the oranges together. And I liked this burlap background paper that came from one of the authentic lines. Really liked that. This is kind of, <laughs> kind of a joke layout. Or it ended up being a joke layout. So, you know, I created these layouts. This was my first layout. And there's literally no journaling on it. And then I created this layout, and there's no journaling on it. And then I created this layout, and I like wrote a paragraph. So um, this is from the Echo Park, whatever the state line is. It's one of the cut aparts, and I added beef. I love you, Baltimore beef. This is a place called Beefalo Bob's. It's the best pit beef you will ever have in your life. Um, so there that is. <laughs> This is a Disney trash can layout. It's the um, C's with Nemo and friends. Lots of um, gold bits. This part right here, um, this is actually a Disney paper. This is not. Here's some gold and white paper I got in my Love from Lizzie card kit. So that was a lot of fun. Here is a layout with my daughter and Jack Skellington at the farm. So this was a lot of fun. We did some stamp, or we did some, we brushed some, I forget, did we do watercolor? What did we brush it with? Paint? Watercolor? I don't remember, but we brushed it, then we took a stencil and wiped away the color, then we stamped, and then we put some Nouveau paste through a stencil, and then we sewed some sequins on to the page. And then I just pulled out some orange and blue embellishments that I had to go with this photo. And there we go, enjoy today with Jack. This is a layout of my daughter at her birthday. Her birthday's in September, so I titled it September Girl. This is a white doily that I inked up with some Brutus Monroe ink, and I think it just inked it beautifully. I also inked this wood veneer. This was just a regular wooden, wood color wood veneer. I inked that up as well with my Brutus Monroe surface ink. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Got a little tag. I did some fussy cutting of the flowers. 
This was a challenge layout, so Christina gave us a bag and said use everything that's in it. So, had this butterfly right here. So I put that butterfly down there and then I added some more. So that was exciting. This was a white bag. Use some ink on that just to color it up a little bit. This white um, trim was there as well. And then I was like, boom, I did a butterfly. But that wasn't good enough for my friend Sarah Scraps. So I decided to really embrace the butterfly and I went BAM! So this is a huge butterfly cut file and I just backed it with um, papers and a paper pad that Sharon had given me. And then I used some mulberry paper and matted my photo on there. This is my son and my uh, aunt who has since passed away. This was Thanksgiving last year. He got to um, come up. He was stationed in North Carolina so he flew up to Maryland to see the family that was there and this is just I wanted something simple I tried to like build a cluster over here and it just didn't look right it looked like like I was like kind of covering up the butterfly crotch and didn't and it really like went BAM butterfly crotch and we didn't need that at all so I ended up just doing this title I die cut this word together out twice and layered it up just to give it a little bit more thickness. Now this layout um, is probably one of my favorite layouts that I did there and it's a combination of the way it looks. <laughs> that sounds kind of full of myself but it is. It's a combination of the way it looks and probably the photos. So this is in Mere Woods. This is our son Alex in 2012. He sat on this little stone bridge. <laughs> this is the day he told us that he had the most comfortable butt in the world. And then when we went back to Mere Woods five years later, he sat on the same bridge and was looking out and I was like, I need to snap this photo. So I took the picture um, there as well. Now it's not the exact same angle, but it's close enough and I just love this because he was a little boy here and he's a man here and it's just, it's just awesome to me. So I did a little bit of mulberry paper behind there. I have this rub on, it says hello love. I backed this cut file. Then I have some more rub ons that I placed, you know, around the cut file. I did some little dots with a white pen and then I even layered up some white flowers on top of the flowers in the cut file and then put them down. Added little bits of gold hearts as well and then some of these great great sequins and I just love the sequin color so love this layout like really really love this layout. This layout is not something I did at all. Um, we did a pass your layout. We had to give a photo. So this is a photo of me and my son and a background paper and I chose this one and hand it over. So we pass it around three or four times and every time a new person got it they add it more to the layout. And this is what we ended up with. I do have to find out about these papers though because I really like these papers and need to know where they're from. Okay, this is a layout. This is actually a sketch that I used from the lovely Cheryl. She is an awesome, awesome digi scrapper. Um, these are, this is the layout that I cut all those circles for. So she's an awesome digi scrapper and I used one of her sketches to create this. And these are the finished pumpkins from the the Carver's um, page that was earlier. Um, and even though it's really hot here at Halloween and we don't carve until a couple days before Halloween, um, otherwise, you know, the pumpkins get hot and melty and uh, So anyway, have this one. And then the last one is a, another Disney trash can layout. And this, look at these hexagons, love this. I was able to use Christina's hexagon punch and I want one for myself. I definitely want one for myself. 
So this was back when I took pictures of the trash cans without the full trash can being in the frame. I used to just take pictures of the emblems. And this was from Fantasyland. You can see the Tinkerbell. So it's just a hello Fantasyland with these great hexagons. I used my white pen to go around the edge and then just built up kind of this little subtitle area where it says simple things like Disney trash cans make me happy. So that was my layouts guys. Thanks so much for checking them out and I hope I will see you guys soon in another video.